And as we come on the air right now, we are getting reports of tornadoes on the ground, tornadoes hitting all day. This is nearly 43 million Americans travel this holiday weekend. Tornado alerts now in three states, and Oklahoma has a state of emergency. This twister in the town of Canadian, Texas, one of more than 100 across the country this week. And this tornado near Table Grove, Illinois, one of several reported just today. The threat also from severe storms and heavy rains. Neighborhoods in Tulsa completely underwater. And this man rescued after being trapped in his vehicle for hours. Tonight, the alerts now stretching from Texas all the way to the Great Lakes and a new risk of extreme heat for the southeast. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano starts us off in Wichita, Kansas, where they're bracing for trouble tonight. Tonight, millions of Americans are on the move, and so are dangerous storms. A tornado touching down southwest of Peoria, Illinois. This massive twister in the Texas Panhandle Thursday, blinding dust storms too, winds gusting over 70 miles per hour. More than 100 tornadoes in eight states reported this week, even as far east as Maryland. This as crews race to restore power in Jefferson City, Missouri, after that EF3 twister there. If you look at this area, it's, it's total devastation of our electrical system, you know, for, for a fairly large area. In Oklahoma, rivers at major flood stage after days of relentless rain. Our Marcus Moore is there. And this is the swollen Arkansas River here in Tulsa. You can see the massive amounts of water rushing by, and that's sending people downstream scrambling to protect their homes and property. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office using high water vehicles and boats searching for residents who may be trapped. People like Sonny Wormser evacuating, fearful their homes will flood next. I feel it in my stomach. It's, it makes me sick. In Bragg's, Oklahoma, this power plant completely surrounded by water. This as we're learning of an incredible rescue in southeast Kansas. First responders saving a man trapped in his vehicle for more than eight hours Wednesday. An incredible rescue there. Rob Marciano joins us now from Wichita. And Rob, we want to make it clear to our viewers, you and your team are safe. But just now, there was a tornado reported just east of you. Where are these storms headed tonight? Well, the entire system, Tom, is not moving very quickly, and the storms continue to develop all around it. Uh, so you see the action on the radar here with a tornado watch that's in effect from uh, West Texas all the way through Kansas, and another one uh, with a lot of action across parts of Illinois and flood watches as well. These storms will continue to fire overnight, and it will be dicey here, here at least through midnight. The northern piece of energy makes a run at the east coast tomorrow for late day storms there. More storms here late as well. And then for the rest of the holiday weekend, the heat will continue to build across the southeast. Record heat and more storms here firing across Tornado Alley in the Plains, where they don't need any more water. Rivers here, including the Arkansas, running at near record levels. Tom? And we see that debris flowing right behind you. All right, Rob, stay safe.